The Timna copper mines and the landscape of the Arava are a picturesque background to the hydrological engineering operation carried out by the national water company, Mekorot, with the use of Golan Plastic Products Pexgold Pipe. In the 50s, when the young Israeli state searched for natural resources, it was only logical to re-establish a modern copper mine on the site where King Solomon had mined the green metal more than 2,000 years earlier. However, after several years, the mining of the copper proved uneconomical. The mine was closed in the 60s and over time fell into disrepair. In the meantime, copper prices increased all over the world, parallel with improvements in mining methods. It proved feasible and profitable to renew the mining activities at Timna. A large Mexican company received a concession from the Israeli government for this purpose and began establishing a new mine. There was, however, one great obstacle. In the course of time, the mine had filled up with over one and a half million cubic meters of salty underground water. Mekorot and Golan Plastic Products were entrusted with the task of pumping this water out as quickly as possible. Immersion pumps were prepared, together with two Pexgold pipes with a diameter of 200 millimeters, class 30. The plan was to pump the underground water from a depth of more than 200 meters. Mekorot and Golan have been cooperating with each other in water drilling for more than 10 years and have installed Pexgold pipes in hundreds of wells in Israel. Both companies working together developed a technology enabling insertion of one long pipe to depths of hundreds of meters. In the Timna project, it was decided to insert two pipes, one next to the other, in the central well. The installation equipment was loaded on a truck supported with a crane, and the Pexgold pipes were coiled on a special drum in one continuous length of 220 meters. Within a very short time, the immersion pump was attached to the pipe. The power cable and another small diameter pipe, to which the pump sensors were attached, were connected by means of clamps. The process involves a regular clamp being attached to the Pexgold pipe and thus lifted by a crane and inserted into the well. The clamp is moved about 20 meters backwards each time and thus the pipe is inserted deeper and deeper. Pexgold pipes are tough and their flexibility features prevent kinking of the pipe as a result of the lifting. No additional support is necessary, although further supporting accessories may be attached to the lifting section. Within two days, installation of the pipe in the well of the mine was carried out, and in less than a week, pumping the water had begun. In order to maintain Israel's natural resources, the water is transported to a distance of one kilometer from the mine where a sprinkler system distributes the water, so keeping the ecological balance. Within a few months, all of the one and a half million cubes of underground water will have been pumped out of the mine. On completion of the project, the pipes will be extracted from the well and may be reused by Makorot for new wells. <laughs>